example A.1. In this example, there is a liquid metal which is flowing through a circular tube and the velocity and temperature profiles at a particular axial location is given. The goal of the problem is to determine what is the nozzle number at that particular location. We consider this problem to be one-dimensional, steady, and constant properties. The goal of the problem is to determine the value of the nozzle number. So let's start with its definition. The nozzle number is defined as H D divided by K. For us to be able to find this nozzle number, we need to determine the value of H, the convection coefficient. We know that the flux is going to be equal to the amount of convection, which is convection coefficient, and the differences between the temperatures at the surface and the mean temperature. We also know that the amount of flux is defined as K dt dr at the r equal to r0. So we need to be able to determine the flux and the value of Tm to substitute it to get H and eventually get the nozzle number. Okay, let's just start first to get the mean value of the velocity. Since the profile of the velocity is constant, then we could say that the mean velocity is also constant, therefore is equal to C1. Tm, on the other hand, is defined as 2 divided by um r0 squared times the integral from 0 to r0 of u t r dr. If we substitute the known values into the equation for Tm, we obtain Tm is equal to 2 divided by C1, R0 square, the integral, this is C1, and the temperature distribution is equal to Ts plus constant C2, 1 minus R divided by R0 to the second power. And we multiply it by, I'm missing a parenthesis, by R dr. After you do a couple of steps for integration, you're going to be able to find out that the value of Tm is equal to Ts plus the constant 2 divided by 2. The next step is to calculate the value of the flux. We know that the flux is going to be equal to K dt dr evaluated when r is equal to r0. If we take the derivative of the temperature, we find it to be negative 2 C2 times r divided by r0 squared. Therefore, the flux is going to give us negative 2 C2 K r0. By having this value of the flux, we could find that the value of the convection coefficient h by substituting into this equation. We substitute the flux and we substitute the value that we got for Tm. Therefore, we could find that the convection coefficient is going to be equal to 4k divided by r0. Once you have this value, you can substitute it into the Nusselt equation and this is going to be giving you 4k R0, the diameter is 2 times R0, divided by K, cancel all the quantities that we have, K and K, and at the end, the nozzle number is going to give us 8. Please make sure that you go back and are able to do the integral to calculate Tm and the derivative to be able to calculate the flux and get the same result for the nozzle number.